What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction. I'm your fan for this evening, and this is Real Fan Sports. In today's series, Zach and myself will be going over each individual NFL team and doing a prediction for every game of the 2024-2025 season. Up next, the Green Bay Packers. Let's get into it. All right, like I said, up with the Green Bay Packers. They are next. Jordan Love, first year star last year, came into his own, grew into his big boy pants, and took this team into the playoffs with a young core of receivers. We have Romeo Dobbs, Christian Watson, Jaden Reed, Octavian Wicks, uh, Luke Musgrave, Tucker Kraft. Like, you had some talent, and they all started to gel. And the one thing I like about Love, he, he knew how to spread the ball around. Even though I still believe Watson or Dobbs might be the number one, number two situation in that on the team. First game of the season, Green Bay Packers faced off against the Philadelphia the Eagles and this one I think the Eagles have revamped pretty decently. It'll be interesting to see how they play and this one I believe is in Brazil I believe all right uh, it's going to be home field advantage for the Eagles quote unquote home field advantage but I believe it's in Brazil. The away team will be Green Bay. This one I'm going to give the leverage to the Eagles. Give the Eagles a win so Green Bay is going to start the season off with a loss in a very very beautiful place so good thing and bad thing at the same time. <laughs> Up next we have the Colts visiting Green Bay. I'm going to get a W to Green Bay. I think Green Bay does have the better team and even though they have a very young core last year that core is going to gel it has been gelled pretty well towards the last part of the season and even in the playoffs where it looked really good uh, up next we have the packers versus the titans the titans i don't know what to expect for them i'm just going to be 100 percent honest with you guys i don't know what to expect from that team i've seen so many people in predictions talk about titans with the win i just don't see that i don't see that i see green bay getting this one win i won't say easy but it won't be like a super difficult win week four vikings at green bay now Vikings losing losing uh, cousins losing the running back as well Madison I know they have some valuable pieces on the squad they do have good receivers but I'm gonna go on a whim and go Green Bay now week five Green Bay versus the Rams I do believe this will be a good game as well on a Sunday afternoon I'm gonna go with the Rams though I'm gonna step out on faith and press the Rams now week six Cardinals at Green Bay now y'all know I'm not a big fan of the Cardinals the quarterback I think he's talented I think he should have went to baseball <laughs> Is that because he would have played for my ace? Who knows? But, you know, he, he went a different route, and he, he does look good at moments, and he's had some, had some great spurts. But I'm going Green Bay, man. I don't trust that team at all. Week 7, Texans at Green Bay. I think the Texans are going to have, they're going to be on a high, and they're getting this win. Texans all day. Week 8, week 8, Green Bay at Jacksonville. Now, I was very high on Jacksonville last year, and they thoroughly disappointed me on multiple occasions. It made me look stupid. Green Bay. <laughs> Just because I'm mad. <laughs> All right, week nine, the Detroit Lions versus Green Bay right before the bye week in week 10. I do believe this this week, they'll be a little higher for the previous game, and they'll get a W. They'll give them the win. Week 10, like I said, is the bye. Week 11, Green Bay at the Bears. This one is one of those age-old rivalries, but I believe Bears will lose. <clears throat> week 12, Niners. Week 12, Niners at Green Bay do believe Niners with all their weapons they, they I don't think they're exactly the same team I still think they're one of the top teams in the AFC but I, I will give them the win I'll give the Niners a win now week 13 Miami flies on up to Wisconsin to play in Green Bay now I just think week 13 this one could be a weather involved type game <laughs> could be we know how Miami is we don't and we know that they have a great team they have great athletes great quarterback great receivers but sometimes they just don't travel well sometimes that defense don't travel well either so I'm gonna go Green Bay I know you're probably like what? I'm going Green Bay. Now, we go into week 14, Green Bay at Detroit. I think Detroit get this one. Week 15, Detroit at Seattle. Seattle, I don't think have enough really compete against this team. Um, players, they have solid players, but sometimes those players do not show up for whatever reason. They just don't show up. So, Green Bay over Seattle. Week 16, Saints at Green Bay. This one, I originally was thinking Green Bay, but I do think Parts of the Saints have retooled pretty well, especially with some uh, coordinators being changed out. I'm going to go out on a whim and give it to the Saints. Now, week 17, Green Bay at the Vikings. Maybe we'll get a split this season with this two team in the, in the division. So we're going to say Vikings. Bears at Green Bay. Do I believe the Bears are going to get a game against them? No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know why, but I just don't. In the last game of season, week 18, I'm going Green Bay. Let's see what this season is looking like for the, for the Packers. 
Okay, see, not too crazy, not too crazy. I'm I'm one off the actual season prediction average. Well, I'm actually one up one more. So I have it at ten and seven for the Green Bay Packers to end this season. Ten and seven. They'll probably be second division after the Lions. Let me know what your thoughts are about this prediction. My name is Nonfiction. This is Real Fan Sports. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And and don't don't kill me in the comments. All right, y'all. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>